thank you for choosing a Hilleberg tent. This film is a supplement to the instruction booklet. We recommend that you both read the booklet carefully as well as practice handling the tent before your first backcountry trip. The Kaitem is a very strong tent when used correctly, but it does require proper care and handling in order to function optimally. While pitching the tent, make it a habit to work in a kneeling position and to always put away loose bags so they don't blow away. It's also important to secure the tent against the wind to your backpack or elsewhere with one of the guy lines. Place the ground pegs in your pocket as they need to be close at hand while pitching the tent. If the weather turns foul, it's beneficial to have learned the setup routines. Spread out the tent on the ground and secure one of the ground peg loops on the tent's short side. Fully extend the adjustable peg loop so that you can adjust them later. Press the ground pegs down at a 45 degree angle until only the top of the peg remains visible. Otherwise, the peg risks being pulled out with the onset of heavy wind. For maximum longevity and durability of your tent poles, it's important that you're careful with them and that you put them together one section at a time. Make sure that each segment is seated properly and that they do not drift apart while pitching the tent. A small gap can lead to pole breakage. The longer pole is marked with red tape and shall be inserted into the red pole sleeve entrance. Insert them approximately halfway into the pole sleeve. Then grip the pole and pull the pole sleeve until the end of the pole is completely seated in the closed end of the sleeve. Place the free end of the pole in the pole tensioner and tighten the strap so that the tensioner is located adjacent to and level with the bottom edge of the tent. Pull the other end of the tent and spread it out. Make sure it's straight and attach the ground pegs in the corners to the peg loops on their longest setting. Then tighten the peg loop so that the tent is tensioned perfectly. If the tension is poor, the ceiling will hang and your tent will not work optimally. After only these four ground pegs in the corners, the tent is ready for use. But do make it a habit to secure all of the pegs as it provides greater stability. Skylines brace the tent best if they're as long as possible. They should be placed so that the tent is optimally stabilized in all directions. Make sure to insert the ground pegs securely. The most common reason for tent damage is poor anchoring. If you can't get the pegs into the ground by hand, then push or hammer them down with a stone, but do not step on them. Finally, pull the guy lines taut, but do not pull them so tightly that the tent deforms and the pole flattens on top, as this can actually weaken the structure. Kaitem has two entrances, which can be opened both from the top and the bottom, and is rolled up and secured with an elastic loop and a toggle. Inside each entrance, there is a vestibule in which you can store your backpack and other gear. Never step on the door panel or let it lie on the ground, because there's a great risk that dirt, sand, or other debris will get into the zipper and damage it. Both vestibules have large adjustable vents which are placed in a high position and protected by a hood. They can be completely closed with snow secure flaps and are easy to adjust from the inside. A clothesline and storage pockets make it easy to organize your gear inside the tent. Thanks to its generous width and full sitting height in the whole inner tent, the Kaitum has a large space in the inner tent. 
This makes it the best ultralight tent for tall individuals. You can roll away the whole or part of the vestibule to get maximal view and full ventilation during warm days. The entrance to the inner tent has a large sip open hatch leading to an opening covered with no CM mesh. For maximum ventilation, open the hatch completely. The entrances on Kitem GT are easy to handle and provide possible variations. Again, make sure the door panels do not drag on the ground as dirt and sand will shorten the lifespan of the zippers. Attach the door panels with an elastic band and a toggle. The larger vestibule has a lot of space for equipment and with the double entrances you always have an entrance that is in the lee of the wind. You can easily roll away the whole vestibule and in that way get maximum ventilation and a good view from the tent. By removing all or part of the inner tent, you can create a large inner space. This area is a good place to gather a large group or to deal with your gear. When taking down the tent, repeat every step of the tent assembly process, but in reverse. Make sure the tent is always fastened to your backpack or a similar anchor and ensure that all the guy lines are fully extended in order to facilitate the next time you pitch the tent. To remove the poles, grip the pole sleeve and, starting at the closed end of the sleeve, push the poles out. Never pull out the poles. As you remove and fold up the poles, check if any of them have been damaged. Then put them along with the ground peg bag into the pole bag. If necessary, clean any soiled ground pegs. Fold the tent and roll it around the pole bag and put it into the tent bag. Alternatively, you can store the ground peg bag and pole bag separately. If you want, you can push the tent down into the tent bag instead of folding it, but then you should pack your pole bag separately from the tent. In humid conditions, you can remove the inner tent before the outer tent is disassembled and store it separately in your backpack. Next time you pitch the tent, first set up the outer tent and then attach the dry inner tent. Never store a wet tent for a long period of time. Hang it up to dry as soon as you can preferably with the poles in place so that the fabrics are kept apart. We do welcome you to visit Hilleberg.com, where you can see our entire collection and learn more about your tent. You can also find out more about Hilleberg the Tent Maker, including our history, philosophy, and how we make our tents. Find out about expeditions that use Hilleberg tents and locate a dealer near you. You will also find information, equipment lists, and practical advice that can help you in planning your next backcountry trip. <laughs>